Hello and welcome back to Digital Asset Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. It was amazing watching the IMF video this morning with MasterCard and Stellar's CEO, Danell Dixon. Pretty amazing, but even more so, I felt right at home as they sounded like they watch the show. They started off almost word for word with our same introduction. So moving beyond that, it was an exciting day. I watched a lot of content from all over the globe on what is happening. And I'm going to share some of this information with you as it is amazing if you are a digital asset investor. Now, right into the first article, the Senate confirms Christopher Waller to the Fed board as Judy Sheldon's path narrows. Not so much that as the headline itself gets into everything I want to discuss because Waller could be President Trump's last addition to the central bank Senate majority whip John Thune, the RSD, said another vote on Sheldon's nomination was unlikely at this point. But time will tell. It's been an interesting 2020 at this point. Almost nothing would surprise me. Into the next article, the Project Helvetia is settling tokenized assets and central bank money. It is very long, so I'm not even going to get into that. But this is the white page for you to go through if you're very interested. It's just settling the tokenized assets and central bank money. The headline alone is enough. 38 pages for those of you who are interested. Again, every article we discuss is available in the description below for your further reading and research for those of you who are interested. Now, knowing they're tokenized, uh, settling tokenized assets and central bank money, the next article leads right into that. Saudi Arabia and the UAE declare central bank digital currency pilot a success. And what did we share in last year in 2019 was Augustine from the BIS directly stating the central bank digital currencies were already active in Cambodia. Now, the next article is a Swiss wholesale CBDC trial shows feasibility for central bank money on DLT, the distributed ledger, BIS says. And a great thing with the wholesale, man, the first thought that comes to mind is Ripple's XRP. That is one thing it's designed to do is carry wholesale CBDC, but that doesn't minimize or eliminate other assets. For example, we've shown NIM has done that for quite a while as well and a few others. But again, Stellar can also do the same. It just tends to lean more on the retail, unbank and underbank side of the assets. This year, I want to thank Mr. Paid Attention for tagging me in that article. I appreciate that as it was a good read. And again, for the discussion of this video, the headline is enough that the Swiss wholesale CBDC trial shows feasibility for central bank money on the DLT. Then we follow that up with the SEC announces an office focused on innovation and financial technology. What is that? That's FinTech. And the FinHub specialized unit is to become a standalone office all on its own focused on FinTech. Then I want to get into a final discussion for this video. iTrust Capital is now offering Claim Your Spark tokens. And then you have Abra will support Flare Network, Hard Fork, and the Spark Flare distribution to XRP holders. And then we have directly from Binance. Binance US will hold the Spark token, and so will direct off of Binance. It will also support the Spark Airdrop program for the XRP holders. And again, as this states with every video we make, the articles are available below for your further reading. So Binance will support the Spark Airdrop program for XRP holders. The Airdrop snapshot will take place at the first validated XRP ledger index number with a timestamp greater than or equal to 1212. 12. 2020. My thought with this, I have always been kind of standoffish and had not eliminated it 100%, but I was not interested. But the past three days, so much has come open publicly and privately that I am now confident myself to actually get involved into the Spark 
airdrop with the flare network i told you guys if it came down to the very last few days i would still let you know yes that i was or that i was still not but now i'm very comfortable and confident brad garlinghouse interview this week he discussed again the flare network and the spark airdrop we had i trust capital now offering the airdrop binance offering the airdrop binance us offering the airdrop abra offering the airdrop even just this week alone and we've shared every possible scenario for those of you who are interested even when at the point we were not going to be involved ourselves we wanted you to make sure that you never miss out on any opportunity now we're excited to say that we are going to join in that opportunity with you and again as always we will always be transparent with you whether it's good or bad in someone else's opinion but now we feel safe enough with the people involved to get involved ourselves much love to all of you guys and again remember this is not financial advice but before we go please hit that like and subscribe and remember in the end we will only regret the chances we didn't take much love we will catch you in the next one